In today's video, I show you the X-Train Kickstarter by DecoQuest. But before we get into today's video, just want to share with you what the GGGG is for this month. Each month, Bob the Beholder picks some of my Patreon supporters to receive gratitude gifts. And for this month of July of 2022, we have the Hero Pledge from Sword and Sorcery, Ancient Chronicles, in hand and ready to ship. We have the Red Grass Wet Palette that has just shipped. This printed and painted Ghost Ship from Mythic Roll. And two all-in pledges for this campaign, which is ending on July 18th. Use the links below to go to my Patreon page and find out more details on how you might be chosen to receive one of these gratitude gifts at the end of this month. I've done two other videos for Matthew from DecoQuest. He had an original Kickstarter for Fantasy Terrain. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out here. And more recently, I did make a video regarding his Grimness Bridge. One of the things that I really like about Matthew is that he has a massive amount of detail on his STL files. And that is also the case for his current Kickstarter, which is Sci-Fi Terrain. It is really grim dark. It is really a unique design that's different from a lot of other sci-fi terrain that I featured on my channel. And the two sample pieces that I've printed out here, I think looks fantastic, particularly this AI model, which looks super cool. And I did a quick paint up of my sort of standard rusted out look. If you need a painting tutorial, go ahead and check out this video, which shows you my technique to get these onto the table as quickly as possible. And if you check out this missile silo as well, it just shows you how much detail is in these models and how cool they look for the style that Matthew has created. But let's go ahead and go over to the computer and I can walk you through the campaign and see all of the options that are there. Follow links to go to the Kickstarter page, but here you can watch a video on your own. He's raised almost $3,000, so they're definitely going to hit the goal of $31.59. And this Kickstarter is going to end on July 18th. Let's look at the different pledge levels. Right now it is in the $30 US uh, pledge level. There's 92 left of 100, so I think you should be able to jump in on that. This is the core set and all unlock stretch goals. This is the Kickstarter rate, which is 11 more dollars. I guess this might run out after the uh, first 100. So here you see an example of the printed files and the core set involves all of these. And here are the renders. What's really cool is he's incorporated an LED system that uses, um, I think these are 2032 batteries disc batteries and you can just stick the LED right onto them. And this is what's super cool are the fortification walls. That is definitely grim dark because of these skulls that are found here, which I think looks really neat. And then here's an example of all of the LEDs that you can incorporate into the system. I love as well these guns that are on top of the battlements as well as some of the terrain features and you are able to use five by one millimeter magnets on these ends. That way they will snap together when you're building out the walls. And this is what I think looks really cool having uh, these guns and missile launchers and it's printed in these separate parts without the need of supports. I'm not sure what this means 0.3 millimeter color gel filter if that's printed with translucent PLA. And here's some uh, scatter terrain. I think this container looks really cool. Some various pods that you can remove the covers from. Uh, gel paper glass. Maybe um, I can ask him what that is about. But in the past, what I've used is colored plastic uh, three ring binder dividers. And I've used that for colored glass as an option. Here's a transport. This is what I printed up because I think this looks awesome. These beacons look really cool as well. Here's a futuristic light post. And more LEDs. This is a fence. See, I think that looks really cool. So just the incorporation of all the lights I think makes this set really unique and fun. 
as well as a highly stylized uh, wall. This is just a generic wall, but um, it, because of its stylization, it is different from a lot of other 3D sci-fi terrain that I've seen. This is a cauldron. Here's a turret. The missile silo is what I've printed out. It's cool you have this insert for weapons. And then here is a robot. I don't know how large this is scaled for. Can't quite tell from this image, but I think it's just a playful little thing. And then here are a bunch of stretch goals. Here's an opportunity to jump into the Grimness Fortress, as well as this bridge. So there you have it, a relatively quick video for today, but go ahead and use the links below to go check out the Kickstarter page, as well as some of the social media that he has in order to see more information. And you can see more samples of other people who have printed these out. Also, there will be links below to Deco Quest's My Mini Factory page where you can pick up some of his previous models if you are wanting to do that. And again, use the link below to go to my Patreon page where you might be one of two people that are gonna be receiving the all-in pledge at the end of this month. I know that'll be after the campaign is over, but Matthew is gonna just add you onto the Kickstarter list so that you'll, you'll be able to receive the files post-campaign. But happy printing, happy gaming. We'll see you next time.